If you've watched any of my previous content, then you know that I often stress the importance of having a budget in place. In my opinion, it is the number one thing that you have to nail down in order to get on the road to building wealth. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over how easy it is for you to create a monthly budget by using ChatGTP. Since we have access to this incredibly powerful tool, we can use it to do things like creating a monthly budget for us. So after today's video, there's gonna be no more excuses of why we can't put together a budget that'll work for us. We're removing all excuses. So what is ChatGTP? So ChatGTP is an online machine learning tool that you can actually insert prompts into and it gives you a response in almost a human kind of fashion. It's not perfect, and some of the output that it gives you is not exactly what you're looking for, but since it's a machine learning tool, it continues to learn over time, and it will get better as more and more people start to utilize the product. So the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go to chatgtp.com, or you can download the app from the Apple Store or the Google Play Store, and then you're gonna go into the app. Now I suggest that you create an account once you get onto the site or you go into the app uh, because it will give you the opportunity to take a look at some of the prompts that you've previously put into ChatGTP. Uh, so it keeps a record of that, but you don't have to actually create an account to use ChatGTP. And I'm looking at the app here and the very first thing that you'll see at the top here, it says that the memory is off. If you hit the eye icon, it'll give you the opportunity to reference save memories on there. I have that off, um, but you do have the opportunity to take a look at some of the previous prompts that you've put into the system. And if you take a look here at near the bottom here, it'll give you a couple of um, ideas of what the system can do. So for example, it says, create an image for my presentation. Tell me a fun fact about the Roman empire. Give me ideas for what to do with my kids art. So this is just giving you an idea of what ChatGTP can do for you if you actually put these types of prompts in. But we're gonna use it to create a monthly budget for us. And I have a couple of parameters that I've already selected uh, for this example. And I'm gonna actually put that in here now where it says, ask me anything. So we're gonna put that in. And you could pause the screen right here if you wanna take a look at the prompts that I um, have for our budget here, uh, but I'll actually walk through it as well. It says, I'd like your help in creating a monthly base budget on the following financial details. My monthly income is $5,000. My fixed income include rent, $1,500, car payment, $400, gas, approximately $100, car insurance, $180, groceries and miscellaneous, $400, uh, utilities, including Wi-Fi and subscriptions, $250. And I also have a credit card balance of $8,000 that I want to prioritize paying off as quickly as possible. Can you create a monthly budget that covers my essential expenses and maximizes my ability to pay down this credit card debt efficiently? So that's our prompt. So we're gonna go ahead and let ChatGTP do its thing. All right, so the prompt is now complete. And it says, absolutely, I can help you create a monthly budget that prioritizes debt repayment while covering your essential expenses. Let's break it down. So we use the monthly income of $5,000 and it categorizes our fixed expenses that we put in um, to ChatGTP. And it gives us a total of $2,830 for our essential expenses. And then it gives us a remaining balance of $2,000 $170. All right, so there are our essential expenses and our fixed prices. And we also asked ChatGTP to help us put a plan together to aggressively pay off the $8,000 in credit card debt that we had. So we're going to take a look and see what advice that it gave us. So it says to pay this off aggressively, let's prioritize it heavily while maintaining a small buffer for savings and unexpected expenses. So it's telling us that we're gonna pay $1,700 a month towards our credit card. We're gonna put $300 in emergency savings, which is our buffer, and an additional 170 for fund slash discretionary spending. Um, so the total allocation would be $2,170. So, and then it gives us a budget summary here. So our essentials, $2,830. Credit card repayment, $1,700. Savings, $3,000. 
Discretionary spending, $170 for a total of $5,000. All right, so we have our budget summary. So now we're gonna take a look at the debt payoff projection. So it says with $1,700 a month towards our credit card, that's approximate payoff time, five months, right? So five months to pay off our credit card debt. And that's assuming that we don't take on any additional debts. And our savings during that time is $1,500. So we're able to pay off debt and build our emergency fund. And it gives us some tips for success. It says track every expense for the first couple of months to see where adjustments can be made. Avoid new credit card charges during this payoff period. And then once the card is paid off, redirect that $1,700 a month into savings or investing. And now in my opinion, once you have two to three months worth of your monthly bills and a savings account, and that could be your emergency fund, you're definitely gonna want to start focusing on investing once you have that emergency fund set up. So there you have it. We have used technology to help us to create a monthly budget that will allow us to pay our monthly bills and get out of debt at the same time. So now that you know that there's an extremely powerful tool that's available to help you to get out of debt and to get on track financially, I want to know how long is it going to take for you to pay off your debts and actually start moving forward to building wealth? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.